I am so excited that we have Mark Serkin with us Skyping in. Mark is from Autism Speaks, and he is going to be speaking. There you are. Hi, Mark. Hi, hi. Uh, Mark is going to be speaking at the Maker Fair this week in New York City on Sunday. And Mark, tell us what your subject is. So I'm I'm talking. It's a short talk Sunday at, at 5:15. Although we have a um, we have a booth all weekend, so we'll be there all day Saturday, all day Sunday. It's in Queens at the uh, Science Center in New York. We did it last year, and what we're really doing this year is exploring kind of innovative, interesting uses of technology, both uh, from a therapeutic standpoint um, and from an applied standpoint. So the way I sort of simplify that is, uh, therapy uh, therapeutic technologies help people with autism find their voice. Um, and applied technologies uh, help people with autism find their path. And so we're going to be demonstrating a lot of really cool stuff. I've got uh, I got a Microsoft Connect application here from University of Michigan, and I've got a bunch of iPad and, and web uh, applications and games that we're going to be demonstrating. We've got uh, some people from Carnegie Mellon coming to do um, to show off their robot technology called Romibo, and a company called Popchilla that has another autism robot uh, games and therapy as well. So it's kind of a big full weekend. And we're, uh, we're really excited. It's going to be awesome. Well, I had never heard of the Maker Fair before. And once I went to their site and looked at it, I'm chartreuse with envy. I want to be there. And I want to be able to be there to see you give this talk. And I physically can't be there. But I understand there's a way that I can watch it. I'm, I, so I'm told. Uh, and I'll certainly try to find the link for you and, and get it to you so you can share it with, with everybody. Yeah, I'd else. love that. Uh, I think they're broadcasting it live. OK. Uh, on so we'll see. Either way, though, I'm pretty sure there'll be an archive of it. And we can make sure we get a copy to everybody. I would love that. And but you are speaking on Sunday um, yeah. at from 5:15 to 5:30. Yes. Okay. And if people want to know more information about that, they can go to the Maker Fair website. And I think Emily's got that to put up on the screen. But you also, Mark, made this fabulous, fabulous handout, I uh, which I have been pouring over and love. I have it here on my desk, too. And you're going to be giving this out at the event, and you've also given it to us. We have it on our Facebook page if anybody wants it. It's brilliant. Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear you say that. Yeah, I, I tried to take kind of the essence of this idea of um, finding your voice and then finding your path. And, um, and sort of try to connect the dots with actual technology. So the document's full of links to applications that can help people with, uh, you know, for example, math or social situations. Some will be applications that people are familiar with in the autism world, and some will be quite the opposite, things you've never heard of or maybe yes. even never even thought of using um, for Absolutely. autism. Absolutely. I want to show on our screen here, I'm, I'm, it's a two-page, um, and so this there's the two columns here. And on the one side, you guys, it says, if you are looking to, and for instance, the first one is enhanced communication skills, verbal or nonverbal. And then the second column gives you suggestions of technology and websites that you can use that will help you with that. And they're cool, Mark. They're incredibly cool. Let's talk about some of these different things uh, that you've recommended. Yeah, each one of them has a story. I mean, I think um, I'll point out uh, a website called Squag that uh, some people might be familiar with. And I, I'm just looking, I didn't plan this and it's not a paid placement, although I do love, I do love Squag. So Squag is a website that was developed um, that is designed to create basically a social connection between someone with autism and their friends and family, but in a very safe place with tools that they can use, for example, for writing or drawing or sharing pictures. Um, and the way it's been sort of described to me is a platform that allows um, you know, someone with autism to have a conversation in a way that they're probably not comfortable having, uh, either in person or by email or, or Facebook and those kinds of things. So I think Squag is a really good example of how technology can create connection opportunities that you might not consider. Mm -hmm. um, and then another one, uh, one that my, fam my, my family and I use actually quite a lot. In fact, my, my daughters are insisting that we start a new game. It's called Chore Wars. It's chorewars.com. I love and this. It's really, there's a couple of different flavors of this depending on kind of your, your uh, sensibility. Chore Wars is kind of like um, a multiplayer adventure game, uh, except the missions are, are missions that you design yourself around the house. So for example, uh, we have a problem with cleaning dishes in our house. So we created a mission that has a lot of points. Um, and now in our house, uh, people rush to clean the dishes at night. And what we do in our family is um, we, we pick a point total goal. And the first person to that, um, to that point total gets 20 bucks, basically. Nice. Uh, so we, we played a couple of different versions of that game. And we've sort of taken it, uh, taken it to a whole other bizarre level in my family. But 
uh, you know, from a from an autism family perspective, you know, if you've got a child that needs some structure, um, you let him create an avatar. He creates a character. He can name the character. He can pick an icon for the character, and you can actually design custom quests. And you can actually have um, monsters that you have to battle for extra points, which is really cool. My phone, of course, is ringing. Great That's, timing. It's all, it always uh, happens. So. Um, so but it's, it's brilliant. Shore Wars is brilliant. I mean, that alone got me so excited. But this is not the only thing on your list. You have all these different. So if a child has a specific passion for something, like yeah, for so instance, on the other, you, go ahead. Yeah. On the, on the other side, um, what I tried to do was sort of get in the heads of um, what some of these um, kids, and, you know, people with autism, what, what they're passionate about, whether it's music or movies. Easy drawing, animation, game, game design, but, uh, but, uh, and I've just sort of in my travels met some amazing people doing some frankly amazing things. Um, somebody in your neck of the woods, you may know her. Her name's Danny Bowman. Yes. And yes. she runs she runs a uh, a studio called Powerlight Studios. It's her animation studio. We're going to be demoing some of her new videos at Maker Fair. But she uses a, an application platform called Toon Boom. Yes. And Toon Boom has uh, an application called Flip Boom Light. And Flip Boom Light is uh, actually pretty amazing. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, download it, check it out. Um, it, it basically allows you to create um, really neat animations really quickly. You don't have to know, you don't even have to really be an artist to use it. Um, so it's really cool. And again, you know, what, what I've tried to do is just sort of identify things that um, kids, with, kids and people with autism might be interested, but most importantly for parents um, who may not be totally connected to the technology world or to different websites and those things, just give them a pointer, just, just as a starter. This, this document is no, by no means a, a complete list, um, but I think it's a good thought starter. Absolutely. I mean, there's so much that's helpful on this. It's a wonderful, wonderful resource. I want to say again that we have it on our Facebook site right now, and you're going to be giving it out at uh, the Maker's Fair when you're speaking from 5.15 to 5.30 on Sunday. That's Eastern time in New York. Yeah. And we're hoping that, and we'll give you more information as we have it about how you can watch that hopefully live. And if for yeah. some reason we can't, then you'll hook us up so that we can can watch it after the fact because I want to. I'm so intrigued with this. Even you know, I'm somebody who does just enough technology to get by, but my kid loves technology. Uh, so this is heaven to me, Mark. Good. Well, we hear that over and over again, and I think you know the, the document and some other stuff will be on our website. In fact, this whole week on Autism Speaks blog and website is all sort of technology focus. We are um, doing a lot of stuff. So you know, check out the web. No, I don't mean to you know pimp the website, but check out oh. the website. Lots Pimp and lots the website. Of stuff. <laughs> Pimp the uh, website. Uh, and it's just a bad word. Um, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean, so you know, that, so the spirit of this is the right thing. And if there's feedback or if there's other things that people think that you know we've missed, please you know share them, and, and we'll keep this stuff updated and, and continue to try to build out um, hacking autism. Well, I, I love it. I love the term hacking autism, and I always appreciate talking to you because you get me excited because you tell me something that I didn't know. So thank Good. you so much, Mark. I'm so excited about you being there on Sunday, and I look forward to seeing it and to having this information be in people's hands. Thank you Excellent. for what you do. Thank you, Shannon. All right. Have a great fall weekend in New York. Hey, thanks. Talk right. to you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>